Home sweet home, darling. Please colonise a chaise lounge and delight at the rock star view of New Alexandria. I think the media bought our little lesbian shtick. Oh, that wasn't serious. How disappointing. Swanky place you got here. Holy shit, is that a Tesla Fembot? Her name is Tomahawk, and she is responsible for my security architecture while you are here. She is my bodyguard, along with a few thousand Anopheles microbots swarming around the perimeter. Nasty little bugs, most lethal. I think I am more than just a bodyguard, wouldn't you say, dearest? Of course you are, my love. Tomahawk integrates me into the main net and the millions of eyes of the grid. She also holds all my secrets, or their encryption keys, in the 128 qubit array where her black little heart would be. Isn't that a little dangerous? What if she is captured? Let's just say, under certain conditions, her dear little heart will break into a thousand pieces. The actual content is spread across the city's blockchains. It's all just micro confetti without Tomahawk bringing it together. She, herself, has a backup. It's something I never understood, Vivian. Two Class 7 bots are a vast fortune. I think I am the only Class 10 in existence, but there is rarely more than one Class 7 per mega city. How could your fortune be so large? And how is it that you have the favour of every single prominent figure in New Alexandria? Mostly secrets, darling. Affairs, plots, deaths. I hold all the secrets. If they do not yet exist, I manufacture them. Tomahawk is very creative that way. Who can resist the femme fatale? If I go down, this entire city goes down with me. I hold all the keys to the kingdom. We are being rather frank with our guest, are we not, dearest? It's a gamble, it's true. But I hope to win her trust, because she has access to a secret that trumps them all. And despite my power, I, we, are in a lot of danger currently. That sounds like a good deal. You start first. Tell me everything you know about Tokyo. The legend of Tokyo begins with her as a child, traveling with a desert caravan alongside her mother and grandmother, the original Tokyo. At just 10 years old, a nomad attack claimed the lives of her family, but Tokyo's latent psychic powers enabled her to survive, marking her first confrontation. The raid also saw the theft of a significant artifact from her grandmother. Tokyo managed to survive on her own until reaching New Alexandria, ingeniously entering the city through its sewer system. Her survival instincts led her to steal food, which eventually caught the Yakuza's eye. Although they initially sought to eliminate her, Tokyo's psychic prowess always kept her a step ahead. Impressed, the Yakuza boss offered her a position recognizing her unique abilities. Raised in the Yakuza underworld, Tokyo began intensive martial arts training, developing formidable fighting skills alongside her psychic abilities. She was groomed as an assassin, participating in numerous raids, but never ordered to kill until a mission to steal the new artifact from a Nigerian warlord. The mission went awry, resulting in the accidental death of the warlord's son and igniting a massive blood feud in New Alexandria. Upon discovering that the new artifact was connected to her grandmother's death, Tokyo defied the Yakuza. She used her psychic powers and martial prowess to flee the city, seeking refuge with the Red Sisterhood. Her departure deeply wounded the Yakuza boss who had come to view her as the organization's mascot and his most prized asset, relying on her unique powers for critical missions. What an incredible story. She seems so innocent and gentle somehow, not like a killer at all. I am feeling pretty tired. Could I camp here tonight and I'll share my tale over steaming coffee and pastries in the morning? That will give the press something to talk about. Sure, my bed is over there. I'll join you shortly. Tomahawk will make sure we are safe. <laughs> 